Welcome back for part two of the New Year's Eve Trips and Traps. And we're going to take a look at three more races in this segment. The first race we'll take a look at was after uh, we came back from Christmas, the ninth race on December 26th. We're going to take a look at the nine horse fly the north wind here and the seven all in no outs. And uh, it's really a race that's kind of interesting because what you're going to see in the chart and the past performances of these horses doesn't really reflect how the race was run and to no fall the chart caller because it's just the way things go with the way the calls of point of calls are in the, in the chart here. So we're going to see the nine fly the north wind. Nowhere near the lead early on, but things are going to change for fly the north wind. And I do have to mention that when they go to the backstretch in this race, there is a spill here. The four red demon will unseat jockey Jacqueline Davis. Both horse and rider turned out to be okay. But here you see the number nine fall in no outs. Just, uh, I'm sorry, the number nine fly the north wind. A three wide move here um, and just making the way toward the front end. And you're going to see in the chart that the the horse was on the lead the whole way, going through slow fractions. Not really how the race developed, though. Yeah, I, it is a funny situation. And this is one of the reasons that we emphasize how often you should watch races. And now we're showing all in no outs who ends up finishing second here. We're just showing you where he is. He's in the pink silks, easy to keep an eye on him during the running of the race. And as you said, Fly the North Wind makes the lead. But the chart call, as we were trying to say, watch the races because a lot of things happen that don't show up in the chart calls. Yeah, you're going to see a, a 25 flat uh, quarter, a 49 and one. Uh, half mile here and you're going to think that all in no outs and everything uh, is on way and just wasn't the case here. He had to work pretty hard in the early stages of the race to get the lead. So this was a better race than it looks and you're also going to see some trouble uh, in here for the number seven all in no outs. Stuck in behind horses as a steady a little bit right there in the uh, fifth position uh, right behind those those horses uh, actually that are circled. The number seven horse in the uh, in the right. uh, That's Thunder so. Minister on the outside and fourth that we're talking about for a second. See all in no outs does have some trouble steadying. I thought he sort of took advantage of the race collapse and then even though he's staying a little there. But Thunder Minister was up close first early in the race. Malin Studart was riding this horse, but she manages to just lose position all the way during the running of the race, and the pace was slow. She had the right early instincts, but the wrong later instincts, and here she's getting buffeted between horses. Now, there's no question all in no outs also behind horses, sort of between horses, but Thunder Minister, I thought the one, as Cool Tails is drifting here, that had a lot of trouble, and she ends up ducking inside that horse and getting third. Yeah, this was a good effort from uh, Thunder Minister Horse, as you said, that was up on the front end, kind of dropped back a little bit, came on again, got, uh, you know, just did, things didn't work out trip-wise for, for Thunder Minister in the race, but I thought oh, actually the top three finishers ran quite well in this race here. Yeah, I, I think it's funny that the winner of the race is a horse that doesn't really have speed, but Jeffrey mm -hmm. Sanchez rode cleverly and taking advantage of the slow pace, and certainly the second place finisher had some trouble. I think it was somewhat picking up the pieces. To me, Thunder Minister is the one that sort of got the very tentative ride, and Malin Studart has done some good things out here, but she's getting an education. And as a young rider, I hope that she's learning from some of the education she's getting because you don't want to see riders repeating the same mistakes. Absolutely. We'll move on to the uh, second race now, and uh, we're going to see a horse that was a heavy favorite in, in this race. It was the uh, second race on December 27th. We're looking at the uh, four-horse goal close to home. It went off, well, not a heavy favorite, went off two to one in the race. Horse stretching out for Gary Contessa. We're going to see here a uh, break with the pack at the start. And, uh, you know, just a horse that's going to get in a little bit of trouble here, not so much, you know, not, this wasn't the earth shattering trouble that the horse is going to get into. What happens uh, is going to be pretty much later on in the race around the far turn. Yeah, I mean, the, this is not a strong field. Pablo Morales is riding this horse, and for my money, it wasn't necessarily there's some trouble in the race, but also it's almost like this horse spent the entire race losing position. And we've talked about this before. It's the inner especially. Moving forward is what you want to do. Go close to home's a horse that's broken three to four lengths slow every time he's run until this race. He breaks maybe a half slow here. He's a horse that's been running in sprints. He certainly has the speed to be closer, and basically he's not that far out, but he's just sort of spending the race getting shuffled, and he's second to last in the picture right now, and we're going to end up moving to the head-on shot the, the, to show around the tower, and there he is. Yeah, it's a little hard to see from the pan shot because it was a, a foggy day, but you see go close to home in a bad spot here, kind of three or four wide in between horses. That's a steady a little bit there as he gets sandwiched a little bit then. You know, they're moving farther around on the turn and once again you'll see him. We're going to pause it a little bit here just to ID him. He's in the white cap uh, toward the back about the four wide there. So not only is he losing ground, he's losing position in the race and he's going to steady again here uh, with some other trouble to the, the horses down uh, inside there. So uh, just not, uh, things just didn't work out 
very well here at all uh, for the number four uh, gold close to home. And we're going to see uh, in the stretch, the horse makes up a little bit of ground. Makes up a lot of ground. Hoist the Gala was the horse in the green silks in that head-on shot that was having trouble on the inside. And he's moving quickly on the inside. He ends up finishing third. Now, he did have trouble, but he was also saving ground. I think more people are going to be interested in him going forward. He moves him to third. The amazing thing is the gold close to home ends up finishing fourth in this race. Look, it's not a killer field, but he's going to meet a very similar field next time out. And you would like to see if he goes, look, there he is finishing fourth. What did he get beaten? Three, three and a half lengths? Considering the ground he lost and the whole race losing position, gold close to home ran a lot better than it looks. And I think if he meets the same field next time, he needs a more aggressive ride if he breaks sharply. I'm not saying he has to be in the front, but he should be close to the pace and he could easily win. An interesting race because the, the, the horse that won the race, T with the Tiger, 0 for 29. The horse that was second, Nolite Tamari, was 0 for 21 and hoist the gala. The horse that was third, 0 for 18. So uh, certainly things broke, broke their way a little bit while it didn't break out uh, too well for the goal close to home. It was 0 for 5, but uh, gets a better ride next time out. I think he'll go 1 for 6. I agree. He needs to be put in better position during the running of the race. And we'll take a look at one more race on Trips and Traps. This is the Alex M. Rob from uh, Sunday. It was the uh, eighth race here uh, at the Big A. We're going to take a look at the number 8, Get Serious, who looked to be on paper the main speed. The amazing thing is, look at the turf course. It looks like it's bright green. They, you're surprised <laughs> they're not riding the night for the turf. But anyway, what happens at the start right now? Get Serious. You see him stumble and drift back there. Get Serious was absolutely the main speed in this race. Everybody expected it. The three horse who ends up on the lead in this race and finishing second was not getting the front from him. And of course, the 12 horse, our clear victory who ends up winning the race. Now, he still rated a little bit here as though he thought get serious in the race. It was actually a very good ride in this race by Stuart Elliott, riding him conservatively, but get serious getting left changed the entire complexion of the race. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think there's no way that South 4th Street uh, holds on to, to be second in this race if get serious is up there doing his thing on the lead and probably our clear victory is affected too because maybe they have to go and chase a little bit earlier than they would have here being able to just to sit off this uh, slow pace set by South 4th Street. So there's no doubt about it. Change the complexion of the race, slow the pace down early, and that made it tougher for closers to rally from off the pace. No question. I and mean, this was an absolutely dawdling pace. They went 24-91, 49-47. And you saw paces that were just much, much faster by weaker horses during the run of the cart. This is an absolute crawl fest. I want no part of South Fork Street. If he couldn't win this race and loses by a length and a half in here with this easy pace, the winner also gets the nice stock, as you said. But the third place finish near an Ichabad Crane, who I think is a very talented New York bred. He is the only one of the closers who had any impact during this race, and we're going to see him. There's him sticking his nose in the screen right there. He's too wide. Jer Jeremy Rose gives him a good ride, not his fault. Mm -hmm. Does everything right. It's just considering the pace, he had no chance. He loses the race by three lengths. I think if the if Get Serious breaks, we see a more fairly run race, and I think Ichabod Crane would have won this race, and won maybe by a couple of lengths. Yeah, I'm not the biggest Ichabod Crane fan, but I certainly can't argue with your point here. A fair pace, and you would have to think that uh, Ichabod Crane would be right up there on the finish. I think he's had some chances in, in races where he should have won or should have uh, given a better count of himself throughout the year. He hasn't done it, but uh, nonetheless, uh, certainly compromised here in this race. Yeah, I, I think it was a very much a race dynamic situation. I can understand what you're saying. and You could say he didn't have as much of a finishing punch as maybe he could have had in that race, but I just think the dynamics led to the exact of finish in here and not really as much worse as ability. You get the feeling that if they ran this race over another 30 times that uh, our clear victory in South Fork Street would be uh, not even in the top three uh, most of the time if gets serious breaks and does his thing on the front end. Yeah, you know, I don't want to knock our clear victory. I thought he no, ran well. Nice horse, so he's had a good career. He, yeah, yeah, you know, and the fact that he was able to raid off the slow pace showed a different dimension for him. I don't see any scenario where our, a South Fork Street could actually beat this field considering what he was given here. All right, that does it for uh, both segments of Trips and Traps for the uh, New Year's Eve uh, celebration day here at the Big A. Once again, you could send your emails to Trips and Traps at Nyrink.com. We'd love to uh, hear from you. We'd love to hear your suggestions and thoughts on the show. So keep in mind that email address, trips and traps at nyrainc.com. And Happy New Year to everybody.